Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? How you doing on this uh, fine Tuesday, October 30th? Mwah. It's fineness in the air. It is. It's a very nice day today. Crisp. It was kind of weird. Sunny, cloudy, but the temperature is all right. Yeah. Because the nips are not on high alert. Oh. And that's a good day. Is it? Yeah. Maybe it's I, not. I don't mind the nips on high alert sometimes. Well, then I can say, oh, how cold it is. I look at your nips and I go, yeah, ah, like, oh, it's uh, minus five. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, I think you guys are tuned into another episode of Talking Trends. Uh, I, myself, TK, a.k.a. Big Daddy Plus. <laughs> what? Is AKA, that your new name? I don't know. All right. A.k.a. I am the guest list. Let me in. Oh. Um, <laughs> and this is Tony. We find interesting news articles from across the globe, and we bring them to the comforts of your home or wherever you may be listening to this. Did I just stumble through that? What happened there? I don't know. I like it. Wherever you may be listening to this podcast, uh, we're bringing it to you. And live, of course, unlike a lot of podcasts. That can happen. That can happen. Anytime. And, of course, speaking to everybody in the chat right now, we love to hear your likes, your dislikes, your comments, and opinions on the stories that we're going to be covering on today's show. You. Ha! Oh, yeah. And That's you too- may be wondering what those stories are. I'm wondering. Yeah? We got some juicy ones. We do. Yeah. Uh, up first, ladies and gentlemen, you know, you go to a hospital, you expect the best care, you come out better than before. Fresh, good to go. Right? Uh, in this case, an ex-nurse admits to killing over 100 people. That's not so fresh and not so good to go. No. <laughs> How do you, I don't know, I, like that's, I have so many questions. Some things wrong about that. Very. Yeah. Um, I'm just stalling right now. I like okay. how I, my stall game's pretty good. <laughs> I like your technique. Yeah. It's just good. loading up the next picture. Yeah. Nice. Anyways, um, for the second story, the Titanic. Da, 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 da. Part two. We ride again. Yes. Or do we? <laughs> Apparently they're building a Titanic. A, a replica, I suppose. Dose. And they're going to do the same voyage that the original sunk on. Mm. Is that good karma? Is that bad? Uh, we'll go through the details. Yes. And this mother's going to cost a lot of mamu. Yes. Uh, speaking of bad karma, mm. this man pictured here. <laughs> he looks like bad karma. Well, you ever get an ending spoiled for you? Uh, like a movie, someone comes in, yeah, you're like, hey, yeah, man, yeah, of course. you won't believe what happened. Yeah, some big just... mouth, yeah. <clears throat> well, in this case, um, this guy stabbed another man over that. Hey, <laughs> some people take movies very seriously. In this case, it was a book. Oh, well, that's a bit different. He was, okay. getting, he was getting tired of his fellow cabin mate ruining the endings to a lot of books. Listen. So he gently stabbed him. <laughs> hmm, how do you like that? Yeah. It's called foreplay. <laughs> and finally, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, rounding out today's show, uh, uh, yes. a child care provider to the rescue. To the hero uh, goes the spoils, and the children were saved, mm-hmm. as they say. That's good. Yeah. It's good to see people go doing good things. We figured we end today's show on a little positive note. Yeah, because usually we don't. No. Way down below somewhere we are. Yeah. And we try to come up the next day, and that doesn't work. But. No. We'll be good. Yes. We'll be uh, right. Before we get today's show started, I know you want to wish a happy birthday to. Shouts out. Big happy birthday. To who? A. The Fonz. Okay. Henry uh, Winkler, turning 73 years old nice. today. Gotta love the Fonz. Okay. He's a hell of a nice guy. This guy does a lot of nice things. Yeah. He does a lot of charity stuff. I mean, it's the Fonz, bro. <laughs> Come on. Damn. I wanted to be the Fonz when I was watching the Fonz. Where's the leather jacket at? Well, I don't. I had to put it in retirement. Actually, you have a leather jacket. I do see it. I, I have know. something. Okay. I have that. I have a leather blazer. Yes. That's old school. That's <laughs> some gangster shit. Oh, sorry. I got it on sale. <laughs> Excuse but me. But anyway, <laughs> I don't wear that in public anymore. <clears throat> um, how was your day, first off, before we get today's show started? It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Uh, what happened today? Played some soccer today. Mm-hmm. Got a lot of work done today. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Had some phone meetings, which was good. Yeah. Um. Not too bad, not too bad. It was a, I got a good sleep last night. That rain, Me that too. downpour last night. Did you hear that? I didn't because I was too busy sleeping. Oh, yeah, because you go to bed like 7 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still doing the 43rd, 430 in the morning? Yeah, yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Today, actually, I woke up a little bit late. My alarm went off a little bit later. It was weird. I double-checked it before bed. It said yeah. 430, but yeah. I woke up like an hour okay. or so later. So. What, yeah, what time do you go to bed? Uh, last 10? night, yeah, like I like to yeah. be in the comfort of my bed, Rap. 9, 30, 10, <laughs> prepping the body for, yeah. for a sleep. Okay, so that's all right. 
If yeah. you're in there at 10, you're kind of like a little burrito. I'm you're good. good to go. My body, you're just, you're kind uh, of there. And uh, you're just like, you're, you're easing your way in. You're just, yeah, you, you're uh, going head to toe, relaxation. Exactly. Relax the feet. Relax, all those meditations, all those things yeah. work. Uh, but I think around 12, 1230, man, it's like the skies opened up. Mm -hmm. And I thought, like, I don't know. I thought my roof was going to cave in. It was really, really wet last night. So, mm -hmm. anyway. Yeah. 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 How wet was it? Yeah. Sorry. How was your day? My, my day was good. <laughs> uh, I did a late workout last night because I remembered I forgot to do my <clears throat> afternoon insanity asylum. Uh, yes. But so after I. Uh, beautifully decorated the wine box, <laughs> which we didn't bring down with us, yeah. and we should have because it's it. quite nicely done. Thank you. We can we can do some things yeah. if put our mind to it. We yeah. can actually get some things done. Yes. Uh, yeah, look good. So yeah. So we're gonna do that as a giveaway. Or something. Yes, we yeah. will. Okay. So anyway, after decorating the wine box last night, I of course had my the the day twenty nine workout uh, at like nine o'clock. Uh, and then, of course, woke up today, went for my run. I'm starting to do the, the fasted runs in the morning. Yeah, that's good. Get it done with. Yeah, exactly. Nice. And then, of course, did the last workout for the Sandy Asylum today. What was today? The fit test? It was the fit test. I wrote, I wrote down all my numbers, too. Is the uh, is the fit is the fit test? I don't think we t I don't think I did that before. The fit test. No. Okay. We skipped it the first time. Okay. All so right. we don't have anything to compare it to. All right. But. Asylum's over. It's done. And that's the good news. Yes. If now what's next? I don't know. We have a day to figure out something else for November. I take a week off. <laughs> I take a week off. Of okay. Insanity, man. I okay. can't. No, I, I don't know if there's something we can. We think of a new challenge. I find when we take. Challenge. I find when we take the week off. That's when I blow it up to like 180 pounds. <laughs> you do not. <laughs> you just start eating more. I do. Oh, I get out God. of a bad gym routine. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let's Joanne hop in. says insanity asylum. You need to get on that. You need to get on that. Yes. So we need a new challenge. You guys chuck out a challenge. Think of a challenge for us. I have a thing. Um, and not like a wing eating challenge, like something that will help, help us. Health. health yeah, health something wise. healthy. Well, I, I recently signed up for, I mean, the game, the rapper, the game. Oh, has yeah, his, you were saying. Yeah, he has yeah, a 60-day yeah. fitness challenge Look thing. you be in the game. Yeah, I know. I'm trying. <laughs> it's interesting. I was kind of poking around on the website today. Yeah. So I might do that for 60 days, but... I, you know what? I don't know if it's intense enough to be 100% honest. Does he do a whole work? <laughs> yeah, because you've been through the insanity ringer. Dude, we've that did, game's a bitch. We've done every insanity workout. Uh, no, no offense. I love your game. Um, yeah, I don't know how, what it's a workout. His workout might not be as strict. Can't it's, be as strict as insanity. No, it's just it's just no. the workout program where. You know, you go do your arms one day. It's just, uh, a, it's just a normal workout damn, routine. Game. We do that on top of insanity, homie. Yeah, What's so. up with that? How do you do it in California? <laughs> Shit. He's jacked. Uh, yeah, don't shoot me, please. I'm, yeah. I'm good. Um, um, yeah, okay. We'll think of a new challenge. Yeah, hopefully. We'll think of something. I'll get on the bar. Otherwise, we'll be we'll blow up and eat donuts. Yeah, that's true. You know how we do. You yeah. know how we do. Uh, up first, ladies and gentlemen, stop all the banter. You're wasting so much oh, time with it. Your people's valuable time. Yes. Uh, a German... Ex-nurse admits uh -huh. to killing 100 patients. Uh, detectives say Niels Hojel admitted... <laughs> I uh, like that name. Yeah, it's, it's not bad, right? Hojo. Uh, hopefully I'm saying it right, though. You're probably not. <laughs> not, not close. Uh, he administered fatal doses of medication to the people in his care, causing cardi cardiac arrest at two hospital hospitals in northern Germany. Damn. His motive, prosecutors say, was to impress his colleagues by trying to revive the very patient's that he attacked. Wow. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. You caused the problem. Now you're trying to be the solution. So anyway, he's uh, already serving life term for six deaths while in his care, but it's now said to, uh, he's said to have killed a hundred patients between 1999 and 2005. Jesus, that's a lot of people, man. A hundred. Single-handedly. By himself. Dude. You're a mass murderer. Uh, when asked by the judge if the charges against him were true, the 41-year-old confessed and said... More or less to all of them. <laughs> so there could be more. Good answer, than, buddy. Than 100. He likes to keep it an open book. Yeah. Uh, the current trial, which started uh, with a minute's silence for the victims, is expected to last until May. Disturbing details have emerged. It's widely reported that he was allowed to continue working for two days after he was caught red-handed having administered the drugs to a patient, Why? during which time he killed another patient. What? What the hell? They were shorthanded that day. I'd say. Listen, Steve, you didn't make it in today. You got to work too. But you know what I've been just charged with? Yeah, it's okay. Let's, don't touch anybody. Don't be alone with anybody. Please. Yeah. So many relatives believe the health authorities chose to turn a blind eye. Uh, an investigation is, of course, underway to determine whether their actions facilitated the murderous ambitions of 
a post-war Germany's most prolific serial killer. Mm-hmm. Since the war, this guy, this guy's taken the helm. I would say so. With those kind of numbers, you got the record, buddy. Yeah. So uh, investigators also say that he may have even killed more, but potential vi- victims have uh, the ones that have since passed have been cremated, so they they oh. can't do any <laughs> tests. How convenient. So <laughs> his kill count could be well over a hundred. So obviously. Yeah, obviously it could be more than 100. Obviously some mental issues. All I got to say is practice makes perfect. You know, <laughs> no matter what you do, put 110% in it or over 100 people. I in just it. understand how he's like, hey, Tony, come over here. Watch as I revive yeah. this person. Yeah. He's having a cardiac arrest. I got this. Right. Maybe after 50, I mean, you might want to take the hint you're that not. you're not good at your job. You're not or good maybe, at reviving people. Or maybe this is out of your scope of practice, my friend. Maybe you should be a baker. Yeah. Less people die. Yeah. More fat people are built. It's nice. Yeah, it's Everyone's good. happy. Everybody's much more happy. Yeah. Uh, of course, my heart goes out to the families and everybody that uh, the sick individual has affected. Mm. Uh, not sure how this sort of thing happens with this sort of numbers. I mean, how? I know numbers. The hospital does numbers. And it's usually compared to um, national statistics on you know yeah. where where you stand on whatever w- whatever's coming in. You're you're constantly comparing data, but man, mm. you, you don't think you would notice that every time this man works, there's yeah. a general uptick of death. Yeah, where's the where's the where's the uh, supervisor in this scenario? That's kind of going. Hmm. Something seems to be off here with this pie chart. I don't know. A lot more deaths. Yeah. Seem to be happening when this individual is working. Maybe we should talk. Right. I mean, 1999, 2005. That's a six-year span. The guy killed again, potentially over 100 people. Yeah. Don't you, don't you do training before you get on the job? Shouldn't you practice like reviving people beforehand? You know what I mean? You don't want to do it on real people. Maybe they're old and they need to go. I just don't understand if you're trying to impress a colleague. Like clearly, okay, if this <laughs> man's a, if he's a nurse, maybe yeah. he's trying to uh, show his knowledge and be like, oh, maybe I should become a doctor. And if that's the case, then sir, mm. take the proper steps in, in becoming a doctor. Yeah, uh, you don't want to take it out on actual people. Maybe you want to be a vet. Yeah, you know, something. Go a different road. Yeah, something with a little less. How does none of his colleagues that witnessed any of this? That's what I'm trying to say. Anything? Either. That's what I'm trying to figure out is right? when the person was in cardiac arrest, and I mean, it of course, happened multiple times. Yeah. What were they like? And it's like, oh, are we gonna just watch him revive this person? Am I stepping in to help? How many people were respond? Like, was it just only him responsible for these hundred? Like, yes. Well, yeah, well, I, I, I'm assuming. Okay, he's he's admitted to injecting all these people. With uh, something to cause the cardiac arrest, right? But no one stepping in. Is it just him trying to impress his colleagues? I don't. I have no. I have so many questions. I mean, they're all just as guilty. I would say if you stand there and don't do anything, but it's the same thing. If it's a you know murder, if you shoot somebody and I stand here don't do anything to help the situation, I'm just as guilty as you are of the murder. Yeah. What's the difference here? So it's just like Niels. You get you're doing this again, man. It's like this is like. Five times this year, you know his colleagues. <laughs> like, dude, this is getting Listen, old, man. I don't, I don't want to say anything. Yeah, but you may not be suited for this situation in Listen, this job. I'm not impressed. How about that? Yeah, you're not impressing me, right? Yeah, you're not impressing. Well, let me try again. Come on back. Uh, I got Mr. Jones coming in. I'm gonna try it on him. Yeah. Uh, maybe it was just janitors that he's hanging out with. Not even real like doctor people. Yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> you know I mean? His colleagues. Yeah. Yeah, just homies. Yeah. Just his friends. Yeah. <laughs> Spilling beer on the patients. Oh, my goodness. It's awesome. Uh, up next. The Titanic. Yeah. Can't say I've ever been on this vessel, but... You pro- will have a chance. I will have a chance on its... Uh, I don't know if I'm buying a ticket for replica. this this round. No? I've seen I've seen what happened in the past. <laughs> I've seen the movie. I've seen the movie. <laughs> Shout out. Shout out to the lady. Caprio. Yeah, paint me like you're hey, French Kate girls. Winslet. Listen, that's a deep movie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Titanic will rise again, mm. and not from the, the, uh, the sea floor. No. I'm going to build a new one. 2022 it's gonna be ready to go and you can get on it the iconic boat which sank over a hundred years ago after colliding with an iceberg is being recreated with an identical build for 
you know, the low price of $500 million. Right, yeah. Sounds about right. It's a big price tag. Yeah. A replica ship will hold approximately 2,400 passengers, a crew of 900 people, and they will travel from Dubai's Southampton. Oh, sorry, from Dubai to Southampton. I don't know if that's that's not the same road, though. That's not the same path, I don't think. Well, it needs to be built Mm -hmm. somewhere. Because it's probably a massive True. ship, so perhaps it's one, coming from one there of these, to here. One of these ports is big enough for it to be built, and then in its voyage, it's probably traveling to somewhere. I don't even know if you to... want to be on that first voyage, even from Dubai. That's not, that's a long one, but you're <laughs> right. You're right. Then the journey will be uh, the same one, which was across the Atlantic. Yes, that was the original one. And will it be during like the cold? When did it? I feel like it was like a cold <laughs> month too. It was like the coldest month. I think it. W- I don't think it matters when it comes to icebergs, but I think you're right. You might want to look that up. See if we had Alexa here, which I'm bringing down. You so got to bring down tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, so the Titanic two will apparently uh, be outfitted with plenty of lifeboats. Thanks a lot, guys. Should have thought about that the first time, mm-hmm. Einstein's, and will be welded, not riveted. Uh, which the original was, and a modern navigation and radar equipment. So some upgrades to avoid maybe what happened on the last kind of, trip. Kind of disappointed, actually. They should just build the replica. Original 100%. Yeah. I agree. Get the same guys playing the violin. Yeah. You know, the whole Have thing. the people locked up downstairs in the lower class system. Get Leonardo yeah. and Kate Winslet on. Uh, I'm yeah. telling you right now, you want to market it. That will that will bring people on there. This is true. Uh, Australian businessman and politician uh, Clive Palmer, who is behind the project, released a statement saying, quote, the ship will follow the original journey carrying passengers from Southampton to New York. Palmer said in the statement last month uh, she will also circumnavigate the globe. I like if it makes I like how it's a she. Yeah, I like how people, like, she's a vessel. Do you guys out there name like your vehicle? Like, do you have a name for your vehicle? Is it a he or a she? I say she. Yeah. I say she for a lot of things, like yeah, yeah. you know, you know what I mean, like. <laughs> he. When like uh, what? Why? I don't know why it's vehicles that we always say like, yeah, or ships he. or whatever, or like motorcycles. People always they make that. Why oh, is that? I don't know. Shouts out, to you guys. She's a fine vessel. Yeah. Do you, and do you name it? Do you have you named your vehicle? Have you named the bicycle? Have I haven't named... gone that far. Did you name your car? Someone else named it for me. Named your car? Yeah. That's sacrilegious. What well, did they name it? Pristine because I keep it in top notch. <laughs> That's a good name. Yeah, top That's notch. Appropriate, so actually. I was like, you know what? I'll roll with it. If you've and never been in his vehicle, you could eat off the floor. Literally, it's that clean. It's not bad. It's a little. Uh, it's getting a little dirty. Fall the leaves. Ah, uh, little. Uh, I don't want. I don't want many people traveling in it right now. I'm a little, okay. little embarrassed. You're a little embarrassed. All right. Yeah. So that's uh, anyway. Other than that, uh, See, does it say how much tickets will cost to ride this Titanic too? Well, they haven't set the prices yet. Okay, Um, they were going to have it actually hit in 2015, but a dispute with the Chinese government halted the uh, plans to build this thing. So ship was set. Hmm. Um, Yeah, so they will be ready 2022. You'll be good to go and you will buy some tickets. I don't know if I want the first set of tickets and the uh, the original. The first one sunk April 14th, April 14th, 14th and 15th, 100 years ago. Okay, well, you know, 100 years ago. It says 100 years ago. here. Nineteen. Oh, well, that was in 1912, so we've surpassed the 100, 106 years ago. Oh, oh by okay. oh, but by the time. Well, by the time it's ready again, it's right? gonna be 110. Yeah, years. it'll be. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah it's only a bit over. Yeah. Uh, a quick good night to Joanne, who's watching us from Beirut. Shouts Ooh, out, wow, my homie. Uh, thank you. Uh, and she had a great stream. So we're reaching across the globe, people. So yeah, good night. It's good. It's night time there. Uh, but thank you for tuning in, though. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, she also says, I will never go on this cruise. So <laughs> I don't blame her. Yeah. I don't blame her. I like to see the uh, the packages and stuff and what they're offering. You'll go on this cruise. I've always wanted to go on a cruise for some reason. I don't know reason. if you want to go on that cruise. Or do you? Depends on how much it is. Is it a singles cruise? <laughs> yeah, sign me up. Is Kate Winslet on the cruise? Yeah, is Leonardo, is Leonardo on the yeah, cruise? That's even all more I care about. That's all we care about. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know what else we do care about? What's that, Tony? Is y'all folks joining us? Roll call time here. Uh, Kathy's in the house. Tara. Uh, we also have Ray Ray. Shouts out Joanne, who just left us from Beirut. Uh, Sam. Shouts out, girl. Uh, we also have Fabricio, all the way from Brazil. Shouts out. And we also have Joe joining us, and that's everybody so far that I can see here. So thank nice. you guys for joining us once again. We much appreciate you being here with us. We love it. We do. Uh, and if you haven't had a moment, uh, head over to the old Facebook page. We talking trends. It's a good time. Yeah, and subscribe to us on iTunes as well. Just put in talking trends, and uh, we'll be there. While you're on a roll, do it all. Yeah, just it's uh, easy. Give us the five stars or one star. A couple whatever. of clicks. Yeah. Oh, five stars much better. Five stars I mean, way better though. Yeah, we're not worth five, but. 
We're worth close to five. Well, yeah, we're worth four point nine nine nine. Yeah, eight. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, they can't give that. So you just got to go with the five. Stars. So you just got to round up. Yeah. It's as good as that. Uh, on the second half of the show, ladies and gentlemen, man, this is an interesting one. Mm-hmm. So um, don't you hate it when the ending is ruined? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> uh, in this case, a scientist stabbed his colleague on a remote research station because he kept telling him the ending of books. That's, that's worth the stabbing. Yeah. Uh, a scientist accused of attempted murder now in Antarctica stabbed his colleague because he was fed up with the man telling him the ending of books. <laughs> uh, scientific engineer Sergi Savisky, 55, Ooh. became enraged and stabbed welder Oleg Beloguzov. That's a hell of a name. I know. I've been st- stabbed him over that. I, <laughs> right? Yeah, really. uh, stabbed him with a kitchen knife. So Ooh. it's believed to be the first time a man has been charged with attempted murder in Antarctica. Really? Ever? It's believed to be. Nobody's ever in Antarctica, I guess. Yeah, so right. shouts out. First, Way to go, buddy. First thing for everything. <laughs> You're a winner. Uh, Russian investigators are probing a version of events in which both men became avid readers to pass the lonely hours in a remote facility. No shit. Sounds about right. Right. Uh, but Savisky had become enraged that his fellow cabin mate kept telling his colleague the endings of the books before he could read them. Mm-hmm. Uh, the woman, wounded man was eventually evacuated to Chile uh, with a knife injury to the chest. His heart was injured in the attack, and he was admitted to the intensive care unit of a hospital, but his life is understood not to be in danger, thankfully. Nice. He lives another day. Uh, the alleged attacker was deported to Russia's second city, St. Petersburg, where he was immediately arrested, and a criminal probe has been launched, ladies and gentlemen. A probe, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, what in God's name was he thinking? Mm. What a lunatic. I mean, who does this sort of thing? Yeah. Who ruins the endings of a good book? <laughs> who does that? <laughs> who does that? Jeez. Don't ruin a book that I'm reading. Don't you dare ruin the little engine that could. I need to know if this train is going to make it up the mountain. We still don't know. I still don't know. You'll have to read it. Don't you dare don't ruin it for me. Don't you dare ruin it. Uh, but, of course, ladies and gentlemen, we all have that friend over the years who's yeah. ruined something. Yeah, yeah, we have. Yeah. <laughs> Not necessarily. They're no longer friends with us. They're no longer friends. Um, but I, I say to this, it's a very reasonable response. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know if that. We don't encourage that type of behavior. No, no, of course This not. sounds like a prison story. Like two dudes were in a cell, and yeah. one guy just kind of ruined the book, and then the other guy just shanks him. Just like, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, it sounds like this like, cabin fever. Uh, I mean, it's like I just, it, I, I mean, some people get really into books. Yeah. You know, and I mean, if you're away from your family and the stresses of the job, and, you know, you're just trying to get away, and you're like, oh, man, you really get attached to some of the characters in the book. True. And I mean, yeah, I would kind of feel a little pissed off if someone just came in and be like, oh, man, you wouldn't believe that, that Peter dies in the the ending. You're like, son of a... Yeah, God damn it, he was I doing so just, good. <laughs> I just can't go to the bookstore and get another book. Yeah, but... Fuck. We're in Antarctica, motherfucker. Yeah. It's snow and ice. What do you uh, want me to do? You better act out a play for me. Remember the movie Seven? Yes. Can you imagine if oh. someone told you <laughs> the ins and outs of that movie? Buddy. I would... Have lost it. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have seen the movie Seven, I'm not going to ruin it for you. I don't no. want to get stabbed today. Don't you dare. But mm. I highly recommend going to see that movie wherever you want to go uh, get it. I mean, yeah. go find it on VHS somewhere. Yeah. DVD. It's good. Oh, yeah. It's I very good. If, is ne- I wonder if Netflix has Oh, actually, probably not because Kevin Spacey's in there. Oh, that's good. Back hurt. in the days when we used to like uh, Kevin Spacey. <sighs> yeah. Before but he's done things. Recommend that movie, and if you have any friends who have seen it, uh, don't have them around. It's a good movie. Yeah, they'll ruin it for you. Ray Ray says, uh, isolation will make you do some crazy things. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the same thing. But, you know, like, be a good friend. He stabbed me with a dull ass knife, too. Kitchen like, knife. Oh, kitchen knife, you know. Just... Well, I mean, it's good for a stab. Depends on what comes. It's good for a stab. It's good for a stab. It just depends on which one. Stabby expert over here. Yes. Uh, <laughs> a nice paring knife will do, finally. Ah, Not that I would know. It. Well, um, but here's the thing. I'm going to do a little reenactment, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you ready for this? Okay. <laughs> Let's <laughs> give me a second. With All this right. One. All right. Let's see what you got. All right, Chief. If, if I was the man. Yes. 
Okay. <laughs> is this isolation music? Ah, very creepola. If I was the man talking to the the, the other guy who just ruined the book for mm-hmm. me, this is what mm-hmm. I would say to him. Yeah. Here's a spoiler alert. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna stab you. <laughs> I'm gonna stab you right in the chest, mm. and you'll have to be evacuated to a nearby hospital. Mm-hmm. And en route, ladies and gentlemen, you'll be scared, and perhaps you'll have thoughts of your loved one. Mm. Mm-hmm. Are these gonna be your final moments? Perhaps, mm-hmm. or not. Mm-hmm. Lucky for you, when you arrive at the hospital. Mm. The doctors will tell you that you don't have any life-threatening injuries. But the knife did, in fact, come close to your heart. Ooh. And with knowing that, you'll perhaps think twice mm. about ruining the ending to a book for another person. Think twice. Anyways, well, uh, <laughs> that's what I think. That's that's what I <laughs> Welcome to Masterpiece Theater. You want a spoiler <laughs> alert? There's a spoiler alert we should for do, you. Uh, we should, yeah, we should reenact more scenes. Yeah. We'll have lines. We'll, it'll be good. Yeah, we should do that. <laughs> we get a good story like that. We could redo a little reenactment like we that. We have to. Yeah. We got to bring it to life, people. Yeah. We got to bring the show to life. You know, um, that's what we do. Anyways, um, coming up on the last segment of today's show. Mm-hmm. Tony, yeah. take it away. I'll bring you up. Mm. He just brought you right down. No, we're, this is good. It's so all you, good. We, we're, we're, we're here. And we're going we're gonna to finish on a high note. It's a circle of life, people. Yeah, I guess. Vancouver mother is very thankful. See? To a child care provider uh, that acted swiftly to move her napping toddler from a flooding basement Monday after a water main break at an Oak Street uh, at Oak Street and 29th Avenue. Quote, within an hour, there was three feet of water inside the daycare in the basement where all the children were sleeping. Damn. They were all down there having a nap. Three feet of water coming into this joint. Uh, Finkelman's one and a half year old son uh, goes to Little Munchkin, Little Munchkin daycare, <laughs> Munchkin, Munchkin, uh, just steps away from the main scene. Uh, quote, a lot of children woke up before my son did, maybe because uh, they were wet. That would happen. <laughs> <laughs> three feet of water. Yeah. But when the other children were uh, when the other children were awake and crying and screaming, my son was fast asleep through the whole thing. <laughs> you know, we all got that one person who yeah. can sleep through anything. He may have had a couple of drinks. Uh, maybe yeah, yeah. He knocked out a little bit, a little too much. Milk. Is he teething right now? Is it? Yeah. Well, <laughs> give a little, a little scotch. whiskey. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but we don't recommend that. Uh, Finkelman's feared the feared the worst when uh, she heard the water main break was right near her son's daycare. Mm. "Quote: They grabbed me and took him up. St- uh, they grabbed him and took him upstairs. They heroically moved all the children upstairs very quickly to escape the flood water, saving all the children's lives. Uh, if it weren't for their fast action, God only knows what could have happened. Nice. Uh, that child would have kept sleeping. Well, you know, f- he'd just be floating along. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> man. We're visioning it. We're taking a vision much nicer, like a cartoon vision as yes. opposed to a real life vision. Exactly. Uh, but the mother of two said uh, when she got the call from one of the child care's attendants, all seemed calm and taken care of. Quote, they were very, very well equipped. They handled it with tremendous grace and pride. By the time I got there, all the children were dressed in their space, uh, space pair of clothes. In their spare space. Space. I'm looking space at clothes. <laughs> Nice. Uh, I like space clothes. Some <laughs> of the children uh, didn't have sufficient uh, spare c- uh, pair of clothes, and they were wearing summer gear, uh, whatever they had left uh, in their cubbies for emergency situations. So just some old. Obviously, why is summer. it called a cubby hole? Why is it called a cubby? Well, it's a, it's a, it's a. I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? It's your little cubby. I know. All right, why find is it? I need to know, Alexa. Why, what does it mean? Why cubby? Management of the daycare oh. said it's waiting for permission from the local health authority to move its toddler program from the basement to the main level. Uh, but since the second program already exists on the main level, there could be an issues of overcrowding. So, uh, you know, these daycare workers, uh, give them some credit. These guys jumped into action. Three feet of water ain't no joke for toddlers. I mean, I mean, a toddler anybody. could drown. Anything. Well, yeah, we could drown. Yeah, three feet you, of water. you go ahead. You try and breathe under three feet of water. Can't be done. Yeah. I tried it before. Yeah, but a toddler who you know could trip and fall, and you know, you know, it's uh, it could it could have been a lot worse. But the swift action of these daycare workers made everything all right. Oh, yeah. You find what cubby means? A cubicle? Or what is it? Cu- uh, cubby? Cubby. So possibly from the term cub in Old English, related related to stall, pen, cattle shed. Coop, ah. hutch. So cubbyhole is sometimes written as one word. Cubbyhole. <laughs> Makes sense. Kind of. I guess. I thought it would come from cubicle. Like a cubicle, but this is a smaller version, a cubby. I don't know. It's very confusing to me. 
It's a very cute name. That's why I just assumed it was associated with the, with children. And then as you grow up, uh, you, you don't have a cubby hole like Tony. <laughs> Can you go get your coat before we leave? Yeah, I, I put it in your cubby in hole. In your cubby? No, yeah. you have it in your closet. <laughs> That's true. We graduated to closets. But yeah. And when does that happen? <laughs> when does that happen? Listen, everything's still on the floor. Nobody cares <laughs> about cubicles or cubbies or whatever the hell's <laughs> happening. Uh, anyway, everyone's safe, and that's all good. That's where we like to end it, right up here. Yes, we've had some interesting uh, kindergarten stories and childcare stories. Oh over, yeah, over the I was going to say over the years, uh, over the months. <laughs> it seems like years. Isn't it? I know. I think we're coming up to our year soon. Yeah, we should find. Yeah, we should find out when the first episode was. I'll find that out. horrible episode. Yeah, I wish we had that. Hmm. Oh, that I was before. That was before. I but we didn't record anything back then. Well, if it's if it's streamed, it's definitely on. It's on here, folks. We will try to one, find. I that. have one on my hard drive. It's pretty funny. Do you? Uh, where we had the Krispy Kreme episode. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh yeah. And we had right, the we'll little try. hats on. We'll have to do a montage of old. Oh, guess who gets to edit that one? Yeah. Make that happen. Tony gets to We're still looking for an intern. Yeah, I know. He did an editing intern. Who wants to be an intern for free? Yeah. Uh, we'd like that. Yes. Uh, for now, we'll get Alexa. But anyway, yeah. so we had a little stabby, and now we're up on the nice level. It's good. We're going to end today's show off with a positive note. And with that said, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Talking Trends. Ooh. Um, Condolences to your bills last night. It took a little, little shot from uh, Boy Toy Brady. He's a lady, man. It's okay. Man. Yeah. You, I was just telling Tony before the show started, the the unbelievable amount of hate this man has for Tom Brady uh, is unprecedented, my late my, my my ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> me lady, you see, ladies. He's, even Brady's making you talk like you yeah. know what I mean. I said he's a, well, anyway. what if he was on your team? What if he was the quarterback? I told and you, Brady won is, all those championships. Brady is not a Raider man, but if he was in some parallel universe. First of all, he'd have to commit several crimes to be eligible to be on the Raiders. Right, Number one, for sure, yes. right? Like he's not, dude. You see, have you seen play people that play on the Raiders? They're mean. They're <laughs> football players. Brady Giselle wouldn't even enter Oakland for a home game. <laughs> She'd be like, "We're going where now?" I'll watch it on the TV at huh, home. Yeah, game. I'll watch it in the hotel in LA. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not coming down there. <laughs> Come on. Anyway, uh, but anyway, they had a little bump on the chin yesterday. It's all good. I'm used to it, man. Hey, it's listen, been, we're both in the same boat. Yeah, you, I mean, your team's not doing any much better, so no. we're here together. Two peas in a pod. In a sinking pod. Sinking loser pod. <laughs> yeah. Mm. We'll be back tomorrow. Yes, we will. So we won't be complete losers. Mm. You, you guys will be with us. So. You should be winners, and come on back. Yeah, and they say you're only as good as your company, so oh, yeah. we'll be a bunch of losers. Isn't we? <laughs> yeah. Monday Woo. to Friday, as you see, 5 o'clock. Come on back <laughs> tomorrow. We'd like to see you again. Uh, Ray Ray says Tom Brady's a cutie. Listen, there you go. See, don't give a fuck what he is. Oh, he's a bitch. That, that just turned up. Yeah, you don't do that. Okay, anyway, we'll be back tomorrow, <laughs> five o'clock. We'll be back. Come on back, like and share, people. We'd love to see you back here tomorrow, five o'clock. Yes. Have a good evening. Be safe, everybody. We out. Yeah. <laughs>